Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is a very big box from Geek Fuel. Uh, I said in my last Geek Fuel video that that might be my last Geek Fuel video, but they owed me two more boxes, even though they changed the way they're doing boxes. They sent me a doozy of a box here. I don't know if this is something you'll get or if it's something that I got just because they owed me, and they owed me. Not, not really. It makes it sound like I did them some huge favor other than just subscribing to it. And again, they don't send these to me for free. I mean, I get some boxes that do, some companies that did, but I actually paid for these because I, I like them. But they're changing the way they do things. No longer you're getting a box. I'm just gonna say this right out. This is what you're getting. But they have a whole huge box full of other stuff. So I wanna get into that real quick. I got a little note here. Uh, it says, uh, include in your March shipment. So this is March's box. I know we're halfway through April, and part of that is on me. I got this about a week ago, but with my birthday shenanigans and stuff and goings on, uh, I just didn't have time to film a video. It was just a lot, a lot going on. So this is the first free chance I've had. I'm not gonna go over this all too much, but I am gonna go over it a little bit because uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is, this is an expensive box that I got. So um, let's let's just start here. Uh, with what's on top. What What is on top here is I got these Super 7. These are the Ghouls and Ghosts. It's a three pack from their, uh, their reaction figures. And that's cool. I don't collect these, but I dig these a lot. Ghouls and Ghosts was actually a game that I, uh, I liked. It's a hard game. I never beat it. Um, I, I did play... What was it, one of the spiritual successors or kind of just successors, successors on PlayStation Maximo? I love that game a lot. But the original one on the Nintendo, couldn't even touch it. But I believe that's, I believe that's Satan here. I think that's the bad guy. And then of course we have Arthur right in the middle. And then it looks like just a zombie at the end. So I dig these a lot. That's rad. The next two things, um, by the way, this has a $45 value. And I believe that because... Usually these are 18 bucks a pop, so I feel like you're getting a little bit of a deal buying three like that. Um, next, we have two Tiki mugs. Now this is the third Tiki mug that I've gotten from um, Geek Fuel here, and I'm not complaining. The first one is this aerial one. Now, these are officially licensed. These are from Mondo, and Mondo is a pretty big company. They do posters, they do six, or 12 inch like figures, uh, they've done some really good He-Man and Ninja Turtles that I've wanted, but have never gotten. So I just kind of want to pop this open so we can see with our own eyes. The last one I got was a couple months ago, and it was, uh, I believe it was Scar. So this is kind of going along with the Disney thing. Now, we are a Disney household here. In fact, one of the reasons why I couldn't do my video is because I was at Disneyland uh, and California Adventure for three days. Anyways, we have this really nice... Look at that, that is gorgeous. I love that, I got a little, on the back here, we got a little shipwreck, and there's what, there's Sebastian in there. Um, who else do we have in here? Flounder, that's about it. Fun fun story, do you know why uh, Ariel wears seashells? Because she's too big for B shells and not big enough for D shells. Anyways. Next, we have another one. Now, this is Aladdin, uh, one of my all-time favorites. This is the Cave of Wonders. Ooh. This <laughs> even has like, a little earring. Look at that. That's kind of nice. But, uh, oh, this is nice. Now, all these could have come in a couple different colors. This one, hold on, let me look at this. This one is Sandstorm, a brown wiped glaze. The other one was just sand. So, just kind of nor normal color. They got sand up both. Uh, the other one could have come in green or purple. This one could have come in orange, uh, Forbidden Treasure, which is an orange yellow glaze, or diamond in the rough which is a blue and yellow glaze which i think i would have liked that one better because it kind of matches the animation style but this is nice um i don't even know where to put these i've got so much stuff 
on my desk, uh, this table now. And then the last thing in this box, before we get into the actual, I, I refuse, nope, not the last thing. I refuse to call over getting a box. It's like a, it's like a pouch, uh, but it's almost the last thing. Anyways, we've got these Super Mario shakers. I've actually gotten these before. It's a salt and shaker set, these are $20. Uh, each of the Tiki sets were 55, just, just so you know. So that's 110 bucks, 100 and you know, uh, what 160 for with the with with this thing right here, and then 20 bucks on top of that. Like that's 180 bucks right there, uh, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna take these out. I've had them on on here before. I've gotten them. I don't. I think I gave them away to somebody. But uh, yeah, they're just Super Mario salt and pepper shakers. Uh, and then the last thing in here is an Archer pin. Um, it's a Lana. She's upside down. Yeah, I don't know, it's fine. But uh, let's pop this open. So this is what you're going to be getting if you buy a Geek Fuel now. The little, the new T-shirt box. Now, and granted, this it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, but the T-shirts, let's be honest, the T-shirts are what we want. The T-shirts are what we've been. I've been collecting these for. I love getting my monthly T-shirts. I love graphic tees, as you can see. It's actually kind of become an issue when I want to go out and do adult things. I have I had to go buy adult shirts, you know, shirts that grown-ups wear instead of graphic tees like, like this. Uh, anyways, in here, we've got the little thing. It, it says, uh, re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson, you know, kind of from, from the Back to the Future movie. This looks like it's going to have a whole Back to the Future vibe to it. So... Next, yeah, let's get the t-shirt done. This is what I've been waiting for. Love me a good t-shirt. This is a Pitbull Hoverboards, now with even more power established 2015. So it's a little advertisement for the uh, the hoverboard that I believe Biff Tan, well, is it Griff? What was the, what was the, the great grandson's name? I don't remember. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and try it on, right? Who oh, one, two, three, ho! Oh! Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, I mean, it, back to form here. This is a very, it's a very nice shirt. It's very soft. I like it a lot. Uh, I like the color. Color's good. I'm not a huge fan of this, mostly because I just, uh, it's just not one of the things that stick out to me from the movie. Um, I feel like people that look at this are just going to think I'm a, I'm a Pitbull fan. I don't know. I don't like, like Mr. Worldwide. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's fine. It's a good shirt. Uh, it'll definitely go in my rotation, but it's not my favorite shirt ever. But to be fair, most of my favorite shirts in my collection have come from Geek Fuel. So uh, again, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. And uh, it's good to have them because they're nice. Next, next we have a hoverboard bottle opener and this is like a legit bottle opener this is metal um this is the kind of thing that you know like actual bartenders carry around in the pocket pop open stuff you know bottles and whatnot that's what you do with bottle openers you pop open bottles uh but this is like a high quality bottle opener this is not cheap it's not chintzy this is actually really nice there's some really good detailing on the bottom down there and then on here definitely has that like made you know Mattel kind of look to it. The the hoverboard that Marty steals from the little girl, I guess. Uh, and then that's not all. That's not all you get. So we got uh we got a nice shirt and we got this little guy. Uh this is a ten dollar value, not bad. Twenty-five dollars for the shirt, that's about right. Uh so that's thirty-five dollars in value. And the last thing is just straight money. <laughs> This is a $5 gift card for Geek Fuel. And you can use this for pretty much anything in the shop. You can use it towards like items to buy, or you can use it towards another monthly box. Uh, it's just five bucks that you can spend with Geek Fuel. And the cool thing about this uh, that they told me, these stack, it's just five bucks. So if you get like 10 of these, that's 50, you know, 50 bucks. So it's not like a, there's no expiration. They don't, they don't, unless, Geek Fuel goes, goes away, I guess. 
but uh, this is just five bucks and you can have five bucks, five bucks, five bucks and buy yourself something nice. Maybe one of these things, you know, uh, a tiki mug, uh, one of these Super 7 dealios. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with mine. I'll probably, I'll probably buy some Super 7 stuff because uh, I don't want to spend my money on it. But if I'm getting money from Geek Fuel, I guess I could. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I don't even know what to do with it. I don't even know how to score this anymore. I don't even know how much this costs because <laughs> I think these are, I think they're 20 bucks. I think it's like, it's like $19 plus shipping. And if I'm wrong, I'll have the actual price here. I didn't do any research. I'm a really good YouTuber, guys. I do this a lot. I, I don't even know how to rate this. Do I think it's worth the money? Sure. I mean, the price is worth the t-shirt alone. Is it my favorite t-shirt? No, it's not my favorite t-shirt. But will it go in low rotation? Absolutely, it will. I actually legitimately like this. This is going to go... Uh, in my drawer downstairs and it's gonna go out for parties. We just had my birthday party. It would've come in handy for all the, the bottles we didn't open. Dang it, we didn't open any bottles at my birthday party. Anyways, uh, all the other stuff that I got, I love, I love this. This is gonna go on my wall. Uh, I love, this is gonna go next to, all these are gonna go next to my, my uh, scar one. Uh, I love stuff like this. So uh, it, it's a good box for me well worth the value i suppose but we'll see next month we'll see uh in may what that's looking like so uh let me know if you care about this if you want to keep seeing them do you like me still doing unboxings i've been trying to do mo less fewer unboxings that's the right word i've been trying to do fewer unboxings and more star wars black series stuff and just toy stuff in general on my channel i haven't actually even live streamed this month sorry guys i've been a really bad youtuber this month, but it's just been a crazy month with my birthday and everything going on. Haven't had really any time to do anything. And then when I have had time, uh, I've got a bunch of video games for my birthday. I've been playing Elden Ring and uh, uh, Lego Star Wars. And you know, there's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, and I just, I haven't had a lot of free time, but I promise I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna keep doing this stuff if you keep watching. And even if you don't keep watching, I'm going to do it. So anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know down in the downstairs area what you thought of it. I love to read the comments. I read every one. I try to respond to some, but honestly, uh, it's it's just been a little, little crazy. Uh, but anyways, comment. I love to read them. I'll respond if I can. Also, I'd like to take a moment and thank these people here for supporting my Patreon at unboxing level or higher. If you do want to support the channel at all, it helps me. helps with a lot of things because YouTube, doing YouTube, not free. Uh, anyways, so this, this helps and thanks to everyone on here. But with that, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff goes a long way to helping out the channel and it's free. And I'll see you later. Bye.